This was the scene at Manu Market today, all the hallmarks of a disaster zone. Tabletops destroyed, vegetables thrown onto the ground and burnt at the same time. Eyewitnesses said the police caused the damage yesterday between 6.30 to 7 p.m. after a bystander threw a stone at a police vehicle. This came about after police intervened in a drunken and disorderly situation. This morning, the destruction continued. Those affected were women, most of them mothers. expensive street. Fire cooking. Or oh, one one person himself did this. Now Mipla will get innocent now. Mipla is in up now. So that's why we are racing up now. We want to bring our market back to normal again. One woman said she was manhandled by the police. She showed us her bruises. Policeman come now. By the middle of this lab, I'm a slave come here. Now put them go in jail. Now I'm a blow me. They will blow me. Police talked to market committee members asking them to identify the perpetrator. Chief Inspector Peron Nendro confirmed he gave instructions to his men to stabilize the market area. Circumstance and time alone, I got a directive that they have to remove everyone there to ensure that we stabilize that area. He says the market will remain closed until order and justice is brought back to the market. He will have ongoing dialogue with the market committee and NCDC. He says the Manu market has become a hot spot for criminal elements and he says the action had to be taken to start the cleanup process. It's unfortunately become a safe haven for criminals as well. So such short measures like this would at least contribute in making sure it is safe for the public to continue the benefit of the market being open. So we need to put a stand here that okay for a couple of days make sure that this stop and you know remove those illegal uh, um, uh, bystanders that take opportunity in harassing innocent public who come to you know benefit from that market meanwhile ncdc deputy city manager hong kiap previously said manu market is not a designated market